Hi, this is Brian from Enlightened Speeds here, uh, coming at you with our second tutorial for the Note Humanizer plugin. And as promised in our basics overview, we're going to focus on the release types. And this tutorial specifically, we will be focusing on the first one, uh, which is the match release type. And this is basically the one which is best suited to doing realistic drums. So at this point, we're gonna head off into VST land. Um, as you can see, we have loaded up contact here. So just gonna open that up. And the kit which we have loaded in here, uh, we've got the Abbey Road 60s early kit. Uh, it's the light version, apparently. And we're also gonna use one of these groove templates, uh, which the contact drum kits tend to have quite a few of they tend to be quite useful and they'll almost always sound better than my own drum programming will we'll, we'll always sound more realistic i'll always tend to sound like a dance beat when i'm doing it so just going to quickly have a, a listen to this first one just see what this is Okay, uh, that one is not exactly for me, so let's go and have a quick look through the Grooves library. Gonna stay with the jazz thing, but I'm gonna move into... Probably go for that one. I was quite liking some of the stuff I was looking at there. Which one's this again? Oh yeah, this one's fun, actually. If you want to be able to use these in reason um, you can do it quite well this little icon here allows you to drag it into the reason midi track so just you get that little plus sign shows up on the sequencers track and you drop it in simple stuff just gonna set up a wee run of them Just doubling up the tempo of it. Just because it sounds a wee bit better. For me, anyway. Yeah, that should be enough for us. So we don't need the contact window open. So we'll just close that down. Quickly, we're going to have a look at what we have set up here. We'd, we'll leave uh, no alters and filters off for now. We'll just quickly show you the humanizer and then we'll turn these on and have a bit more of a jam. So it's set to match type. And what happens with the match type? What does it actually do? Well, with any note that is humanized or any drum hit that's humanized in this case, there's a certain amount of delay attached. Now, obviously, this counts for the start of the note, but it also has to count for the end of the note as well. So how does that get dealt with? There's a couple of different ways the the plugin deals with it. And the match release type means that it will release, uh, in other words, the note off event will get the same amount of delay as the note on event if it is humanized. And it basically just sounds more natural for things like drums. Um, the random type typically sounds a bit better for keys, for example. Um, but for drums, you're really looking for the match type. That works well. So we'll start by messing around with the delay time a little bit. And we will also then use the note alter just for velocities. We'll just try and get something realistic sounding to start off with. And then we'll mess around a little bit more with the note alter and the note filter as well. Anyway, right, let's go. Let's have a jam. Straight 
straight away we're hearing that that's tripping up just a wee bit too much. This is with the delay up at 7. Let's put it up to 20 just to show that. Obviously it's just unusable for this. Tighten up again. Around about 3 I'm finding is pretty much exactly where I'm wanting it near enough every time. For kind of keys and guitars, that kind of thing, you want it up to your, your 18s, your 19s, your 20s, but tighter is better for drums. Got all of the note alter pretty much on here. Starts to get a bit unrealistic when the alter range for velocities is up too high, so we'll turn that down again a bit. There's plenty of variation if you set it to 50. Without being too overboard, really. Then for the filter, just going to take out 5% worth, so we'll let... 95% pass. And lastly, the note altar for the notes. Just stab this on and just do it weak enough fill points. And that'll do. Just to kind of recap what we really did there. Um, we messed around a little with the, the maximum delay setting. We left it at five in the end. Uh, as I was commenting there a little bit, three is my preference. Um, that seems to be where it's always landing. You'll always get a pretty decent result if it's set to three. Um, the note alter, uh, really, the first one, uh, we're just dealing with the velocities here. And... What was happening, we had it set maybe a wee bit on the low side, turned it right up and then brought it back down to about 50 or so. If you start to mess around with the, the, the velocity alter too much, it starts to become the case that, it, again, it's going to start sounding unrealistic. And if you're looking for realistic drums, then yes, you do want velocity variation, but you don't necessarily want it to be that extreme the note filtering, again, is a similar idea where you don't really want it to have an extreme result. You just want the occasional note to be dropped. So set it up somewhere around about 95 or something like that, unless you're using it for some kind of kind of fill kind of action. And lastly, our middle note alter here, uh, which is dealing with just strictly notes themselves. Typically the best idea with this one, just keep it at zero and just whack it right up at points where you're wanting to make fills. If you want to limit the type of things that you do with the fills, uh, there's a couple of different tricks you can pull. Specifically, there's another one where you can use chord bank uh, as a scale quantizer. And doing it that way, that allows you to have your fills be a wee bit more focused. I'll possibly do another wee tips and tricks video later on to show how that's done. But that's just pretty much covered the, the basics for this. Like I said, the real thing just to remember about this one is if you're looking for realistic drums, then use the Note Humanizer's match setting for the release type. This one here, set it to M. And just before we go, we're also just going to comment on something that was shown up on one of the posts on Reason Talk that we were kind of mentioning. It was on one of our own threads there. We asked people what they were thinking of the idea of having another probability dial for note alter 
Because at the moment, if you want to have your velocities set to one probability and your notes set to another probability, you need to have two different ones. So we've had a wee look at it and we've came to the conclusion that, yes, um, we're going to add this in. Um, so that should be coming out sometime within maybe about the next month, two months or so, we'll get that in. Difficult to really say when we'll have time to do it, but it is definitely going to be something that's going to get done uh, because it's really, really annoying me every time that I have to do this now. So, um, yeah, it will be getting added pretty soon. Anyway, that's us. Uh, the next tutorial that we'll be doing, we will be covering the random release type. More suited for longer delays, really. Um, suited for if you want those kind of luxuriously loose keyboard sounds like uh, like the kind of stuff that you get from Radical Keys, that kind of thing. So we'll discuss that in the next tutorial. So we we'll hope to see you then. Have fun. Take care. Cheaty bye. Bye-bye.